Hi everyone, today we're going to explore the path to a payment in a modern Stripe integration. At the heart of this process is the payment intent. As its name suggests, it represents your intent to collect a payment. The object tracks the steps along the way to fulfill that intent. Let's say a customer clicks the checkout button for a $100 item. They haven't purchased it yet, they might abandon the flow or face a payment decline. However, their click indicates an intent to buy, and your integration sets up a payment intent object for $100 to track the process. Now let's look at the payment intent's journey through various statuses. It starts at requires payment method. At this stage, Stripe needs the customer's payment method details, like a card number. Your integration can either create a payment method object to represent this data, or allow Stripe to gather the details automatically. You can even save a payment method for future use via the Setup Intents API. The next status is Requires Confirmation. Here the customer must confirm their intent to pay with a specified method. This typically happens when they click the Pay button. Once confirmed, your integration notifies Stripe through an API call. You might write this call yourself or use Stripe's convenient UI elements like Stripe Elements. In some cases, like Stripe Checkout, Stripe handles the confirmation for you. When a payment intent is confirmed, a charge is created to represent the attempt to move money. Next, the state moves to processing. At this stage, Stripe attempts to process the payment on your behalf. As it works through the steps, the intent state is updated to either succeeded or back to requires payment method if it fails. Lastly, we introduce the event object. Events represent actions like the charge succeeded or the charge failed. In some integrations, you write code for event responses using webhooks, while in others, Stripe manages this for you. And that's the path to a payment in Stripe. By understanding the journey of the payment intent, you can create seamless payment experiences. Thanks for joining me.